Good afternoon, everyone. I'm David. And I'm Gavin. And you're watching Pirate News Weekly. This just in, the Our Lady of Belfont Hospital in Ashland, Kentucky, has announced that it will be closing its doors for good. This took many workers by surprise, as there were no rumors, no hints, nothing that could have prepared them for the devastating news that they'd have to find new jobs on Tuesday morning. The hospital's president is helping the workers in the process of finding new employer, and the hospital will be continuing their care as normal until they close in September. In other news, students interested in peer tutoring can join study groups in Ms. Offie's room 3418 from 245 to 345 daily for all subjects. Once again, seniors who are eligible for scholarships, make sure you check the website for scholarship info. Some deadlines are closing in. If you are applying for scholarships, check the deadlines to make sure you can still submit your applications on time. Last but not least, Pirates cards are still available. They give discounts at multiple restaurants like Wheelersburg McDonald's, Panheads, Penn Station in Portsmouth, and many more. Meet with a member of the Student Council to purchase a card. Proceeds go to the Student Council to help them sponsor school and community events. On to school news, Spirit Week is next week. Monday will be Pajama Day, Tuesday will be Jersey Day, Wednesday will be America Day, Thursday will be Movie or TV Character Day, and Friday is Crazy Orange and Black Day. That's all we have for over here. Let's send it over to our guy Austin with sports. Thank you, Gavin. Going into professional sports, the 2020 Pro Bowl will be held in Orlando, featuring quarterbacks such as Lamar Jackson and Russell Wilson. Going into the NFL Super Bowl, the 49ers, who defeated the Green Bay Packers, will be facing off against the Chiefs, who defeated the Tennessee Titans. Now to Ryan with local sports. Thank you, Austin. The, bro the girls' basketball team won against Oak Hill with a score of 58-40. The girls also played last Wednesday against Northwest. Now on to boys basketball. The boys recently played last Tuesday against Valley with a score of 72 to 46. The boys' next game is tonight against West. In other news, students running indoor track will have practice at 3 in the weight room on Mondays. And on Tuesday and Thursdays, there will be practice at the track at 4. Now on to weather with Chase. Uh, for today, there will be a high chance of rain with highs of 47 and lows of 36. Uh, for Saturday, there's going to be a slight chance of snow with highs of 37, uh, lows of 33. Uh, for the rest of the week, it's going to be mostly cloudy with temperatures ranging from high 30s to low 40s with some spots of sunshine towards Tuesday and Wednesday. Thanks, Chase. Now over to Emily with the highlight of the homecoming queen and her court. On January 31st, queen and her court will be announced at the game that night against Northwest. The freshman attendant is Madison Whitaker. The sophomore attendant is Brooklyn Crawford. The junior attendant is Haley Darnell, and the senior attendant is Chloe N. This year, the homecoming queen is Sydney Chamberlain. Now for the winner of the Dairy Queen gift card. Nevea Whalen had the closest answer with 186 parking spaces in the student parking lot. The actual answer was 184. Please see Miss Belford at any time during the school day to collect your prize. On to the question for this week, who do you think will win this year's Super Bowl? Submit your answers on the Google form that will be sent in an email. Thanks for tuning into this week's broadcast. I'm David. And I'm Gavin. And, and this, this has been Pirate, Pirate News Weekly. Weekly.